Hey YouTube, you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and I am your new Friday vlogger, Leanna. So, this week's topic is about labels. What do you look for? So, I'm going to turn you around and show you a couple of things in my fridge and um, labels that I look for or what I look for when I look at a label. So, always don't mind my hot mess of a kitchen. I busy, 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 busy work week. Crazy. Okay, so turn you around here. Okay, so my refrigerator. Uh, don't mind my husband's pizza. So things like I have, I've tried. Th this is something new. I'm putting this with my. Um, protein vanilla protein powder and a banana and then some of this chocolate almond breeze so when I look at the label pretty much what I look for is calories and protein uh, this has 45 calories and 2 grams of protein um, I am a lap band patient so I don't necessarily look at sugars fats or really any of that so I haven't really gotten that far into my diet where I've really honed in on those. Um, I am doing a weight training program of some sorts. I'm, I'm weightlifting, I guess you could say. So um, at some point here in the near future, I may break it down to where I am looking at uh, calories, fat, saturated fats, and all that good stuff stuff but as of right now I'm really not so like I said um, I pretty much just look at calories and protein occasionally I will look at fiber and sugars so um, you know the the reason I'm, I'm really into almond milk right now and a lot of that's just for the calorie content um, it's something really light in calories that I can add to my um, protein shakes to really add some flavor. Um, cottage cheese. What I look for is the ratio. Um, 90 calories. This one has, oh, it's not going to focus, 13 grams of protein. This is uh, an off brand. I usually get the Daisy brand, and this one has a better ratio. It's 90 calories and... Um, 14 grams of protein. So that's pretty much what I look at um, with yogurts. I want to make sure the ingredients, there's no aspartame in there, but this one is um, 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. I don't know if you can see that, but 12 grams of protein. So that's, that's what I look for. And I look at the sugars also in... Um, yogurt. I don't know if you can see, but this one's got seven grams of sugar. Um, you can look at the, a lot of the Chobani yogurts have like 18 grams of sugar in it, and that is the amount of sugar in a fun size snicker bar, musketeer, whatever, um, snicker bar, yeah. So, um, I really try to kind of watch for that. And then I also look for things with, um, the least amount of ingredients. So, um, like for years, this is the butter I bought, Challenge Butter, and it's got, what is that? Uh, three ingredients in it. It's got pasteurized cream, milk, and salt. Um, as, let's see, what's this one? Sorry. Uh, oh, it's on top. As opposed to... This one here, you see there is a whole large list underneath, you know, right here of, in, of ingredients. So I really try to stay away from things that have so many ingredients um, it is what I also look for when I look at labels. So like I said, one, two, and three. So, um, so then let's see here. Okay, so then here's my cheese. My cheese has 80 calories and 7 grams of protein. Again, that's, you know, what I look at. And then, um, 
Sorry, I keep flipping you around. So we're going to go over here to my cereal. So, um, I like to add things to my cottage cheese. So I'll add like fiber one. So when I'm looking at the fiber one, I'm over here and I'm looking at calories. So it's 60 calories for half a cup. It is very, 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 very important that you look at the serving size. Uh, one of the first things that I do is I come here and I look, okay, it's 60 calories, 2 grams of protein for how much? For half a cup, 30 grams. I weigh everything out in grams. So what I will normally do is I do half of a serving. So I do 30, well I weigh out 15 grams, which brings it to 30 calories and one protein, okay? What I look here is for dietary fiber. 14 grams of dietary fiber. Uh, being a weight loss surgery patient, fiber can be very important. So, um, I try to add, you know, fiber into my diet. So, um, you know, so let's just look at this label real quick. And the key things that I will look at on a label are the uh, serving size is key. Um, you've no idea how little a serving can be. So, very important to pay attention right here to the serving size. Um, then calories is what I look at. Um, I count my calories. So, I look at the calories. Um, I do not really pay attention to fat. Occasionally, I will look at sodium in soups or um, things that... I, that may end up with a lot of sodium. I, I do occasionally will look at sodium. Um, I will try to go for the whatever has the least amount of sodium, like soup wise, or if I have like my frozen fish or whatever, um, I look at that. Then I look, I don't care, I don't really look at carbohydrates because most things I eat don't necessarily have carbohydrates in it. And if they do, they're good carbs. And then I look at protein, and occasionally I will look at sugar. So, um, that's pretty much what, what I look for when I'm looking at through nutritional label. I am mainly trying to see if it's got a 1 to 10 ratio. If it's got 100 calories, I try to shoot for 10 grams of protein is what uh, my ultimate goal is. And um, very important to look at serving size. Is it, you know... Is it going to fill you up or, you know, whatever. So some things just aren't worth it, like my nuts. Um, I don't know. I have, I have almonds or whatever, and it's just like the calories are, do not necessarily, you know, aren't necessarily worth the serving size, I guess you could say. But it's a great little snack if I'm, oh, you know, if I have plenty of calories to spare for the day you know, type thing. But I am always, always, always looking at the nutritional information. Um, before I even think twice about the item, um, if it's something new or something, that's the first thing I do. I drive my husband nuts at the grocery store. Um, he now will know exactly what I'm looking for. Um, before we even think of buying something, I ask how many calories does it have in it, how much protein does it have in it. So those are the two things that I am looking for. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you kind of maybe learned something. But that is what I do when I look at labels. Also, um, I was just remembering. Like I said, the least amount of ingredients is, is best. Also be careful with things like just because it says it's whole wheat does not mean that it's not enriched whole wheat. So you want to make sure that you're getting, um, you, you've got to look at those ingredients and make sure like the first ingredient is whole wheat and not enriched anything. So um, key things like that you want to watch out for. So uh, make sure you're looking at the ingredients as well. So let us know what you look at 
you know, when you go grocery shopping and what, you know, you pay attention to on labels. Um, so, anyways, that's all I got, and I will talk to you guys all later.